all right this is the second video on the same thing about using a piston stop if you go to my other video you can see how I just screwed it in have the piston about that far from top dead center and I have wrote and this time though I put a put a degree wheel that I printed off the internet onto the rotor and what I've done is I rotated the piston I rotated the engine the piston up to it hit the stop I actually took a picture a minute ago after putting this up so and then mag then put it on the computer and magnified it so I can get an exact spot where I have to mark on a degree wheel which is that five degree marker right there which is right next to the to the button like it was in my other video and then rotate it back around rotate it back around until it hits the stop again and then I put that up there like that again and I snapped a picture with my camera in the same position that we're getting the video from magnified it up and figured out that where I have to get that mark which is four and a half degrees from the center or from the uh, Let's see if I can get four and a half degrees from this hard line right there I keep covering up so now you take the degrees from here from this mark so we got 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 and a half degrees so now I'm gonna go 20 degrees over which would be 5 10 15 20 20 degrees over right there and a half which is going to be pretty hard for me to figure out but right underneath that mark right there 20 degrees over is my top dead center so there you go